to create a new Veterans Memorial. This one, an effort by Gold Star families to create a sacred place to honor and remember Colorado's fallen military heroes. So it would be in front of the state capitol next to the existing obelisk. Alicia Lardy is uh, here tonight. Funding those needed to start construction on this. Funding is needed. That's really kind of the last hurdle to get this project off the ground. The plans are already approved. And as you can see, this is a rendering of what that memorial will look like. Colorado Gold Star families say this project is personal, not just for them, but for all the fallen. At that time, our family uh, became a member of a club no family wants to be a member of. Families tied together by a gold star representing their sacrifice. Well, I lost my oldest son, uh, Jake Weikstra, uh, three and a half, almost three and a half years ago. So my brother, uh, Captain Russell Ripiteau, was killed in Iraq in 2003. Two Gold Star families and one common mission turn this peaceful spot in front of the state capitol into a memorial for their soldiers and all the fallen in Colorado. I know the grief that they feel and so being able to have a memorial that honors all of them I think is really important and have a place for them to gather and to know that their loved one's sacrifice is not forgotten. The project has been 10 years in the making and finally at the fundraising stage. They need $250,000. It's a place where people can go. Tom Weikstra got involved after his son Jacob was killed in Afghanistan when his Black Hawk helicopter crashed. From a very young age, he, he always said he wanted to serve his country. That word has taken on a whole new meaning for his family. And unfortunately, um, going through this tragedy um, has given me a totally different perspective on on life and what service means and what sacrifice means. In the front side, Rebecca Kim is the chair of the Colorado Fallen Heroes Memorial Fund, the organization raising money for this effort. Oh, it would be wonderful. It's a way for her to honor her brother. He always wanted to serve his country and um, he always wanted to be a ranger. She knows how much a memorial like this will mean to other Colorado families, ensuring the fallen and their sacrifice will live on. As a Gold Star family member, I think your biggest fear is that your loved one is forgotten. And with this story, we're helping kick off the November Never Forgotten campaign. So during this month, Denver 7 will work with the Colorado Fallen Heroes Memorial to honor our military. We also have more information about how people can donate on our website. Now, Anne, you mentioned that there's already an existing memorial there. They actually worked with that same architect to make sure this is ah, going to be seamless. Beautiful. So it's Very just nice. going to be so beautiful mm -hmm. once it's done and just look like it was always meant to be there. Oh, good. Very nice. Thank you. For that, Thank, Thank you. you.